Hi everyone, this is Mamushig and in today's video I will start the next chapter which is process management. Okay. So in this topic we will be going to discuss everything related to process. Started with the definition of process, we, we will try to cover each and every concept which is related to process in a computer. Okay, so here I have written down some points and I have drawn a diagram as well which represents the process in main memory. With the help of these points and an example, we will try to understand everything about process. Okay, so now let us discuss the first point. A process is defined as a program under execution. Sometimes a process can be represented as a task. Okay, so now here you can see there are two terms a process and a program. Okay, so whenever I write any program, whenever I write some instructions in a file, and once I save that file, I will be saving that file inside the secondary storage. At that time, when the file gets stored inside the secondary storage, we can term it as a program. Okay, now it is not been termed as a process so when that program is moved inside the main memory now it has been termed as a process now it is ready for getting execution inside the cpu okay so one by one operating system will start moving the program from the secondary memory into the main memory so that they can get executed inside the cpu okay so that is what this point is saying a process is defined as a program under execution when the program is moved inside the main memory at this point that program is ready for execution okay now it has been termed as a process and sometimes a process can be represented as a task as well next point is many programs or processes inside computer competing to hold the control over CPU and these processes includes both user processes and system processes okay so since CPU will be very fast okay it will be executing n number of instructions n number of processes within a seconds or a nanoseconds at any given of time many programs will be waiting inside the ready queue to get executed inside the CPU and these processes may be a user process or it can be a system process okay so these processes may be the requests of users or it may be the requests of the operating system to the kernel okay next point is process management is the task of managing various processes that wants to execute inside cpu in such a way that leads to increased cpu utilization okay the so process management is a task of managing various processes in a computer who wants to get executed inside the cpu so that the cpu utilization should get increased okay so the purpose here is cpu should not sit idle there should be enough processes ready inside the main memory so that cpu can execute these processes okay next point whenever any program wants execution in the cpu then operating system will send that process inside main memory so whenever any program wants the execution from the cpu then operating system will send that program from the secondary storage to the main memory and then from the main memory one by one operating system will send that process inside the cpu so that the process will get executed next point during the period of its existence in the cpu process will be traveling in various states okay starting from the point where that program was in the secondary memory to the point when it gets the chance to execute inside the cpu during that period process will be moving in various states Okay. A process will be switched between various states and these states are running state, ready state, blocked state and waiting state. Okay. Next point is once any process entered in the CPU then another process has to wait for either timeout or completion of input output. Okay. So uh, suppose any process has entered inside the CPU then all the other processes has to wait for that first process to get completed. 
its execution okay next point when any process completes execution then operating system takes away the cpu logically from that process and hand over the cpu control to another ready process for execution okay once any process completes its execution inside the cpu then operating system will take that process and send it out from the cpu and pick an another process from the main memory and then send that process inside the cpu so that it get the execution okay now the next slide is okay so here you can see i have drawn a diagram of a process okay so how a process looks like when that process is inside the main memory okay so it's a diagram of the process when it is in the main memory okay so as you can see there are three sections one is text section another one is process stack and the third one is data section okay so when the process is in the main memory so it has three sections to get executed inside the cpu okay so in the text section it has all the code which it needs to execute once it gets a chance to enter inside the cpu okay so as you can see here it has some instructions like org 200 move a b add m okay so these are the instructions which this process wants to execute inside the cpu okay and you can see there is a counter program counter pc specify next instruction to be executed this program counter indicates that this is the next instruction which cpu has to execute once the cpu execute this instruction it will move to the next instruction Okay, which again indicates to the CPU that this is the next instruction that you need to execute. Okay, so this uh, program counter specify the next instruction to be executed. Okay, and then there is a process stack. Okay, it contains the details of all the functions, details of parameters. Okay, and then there is a another section which is data section in this data section it contains the details of all the variables either it is a local variable or global variables which are required by these programs or by this code okay so this data section contains the variables information or the details of all the variables which is required by these instructions okay Okay, now the next point is a process comprises the program code called text section. Okay, as I have told you that there is a text section which is this. Okay, and this text section contains the current activity or instruction being executed noted by the value of a program. Okay, so as I have told you that this text section contains the instruction which CPU needs to execute then there is an another section which is a stack section okay a process also includes a process stack containing temporary data that corresponds to local variable values return addresses function parameters okay so the next section which i have told you is the process stack section so in this process stack section it includes the temporary data okay uh, corresponds to local variable values return addresses and it also contains function parameters okay now the last section is the data section this data section comprising global variables values okay as i have already told you that this is the last section of this process which includes the variables which includes the details of variables which are required by these instructions at the time of execution inside the cpu okay so this is everything about process management okay so here we have just seen the introduction of process management in this video okay so i hope you guys have understood each and every point of this discussion if you like this video click on like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching